Okay, guys, we'll look at the last war against maybe um, Swiss clan perk eight clan. Pretty decent war. Um, putting some good attacks in that that side. They uh, they managed to two star all our town all tens and the three star everything else below that. <coughs> but they did struggle on our town all elevens. Um, whereas we managed to. Um, three star basically town halls uh, and anything below sort of town hall nine and below uh, two star the town hall tens three star that town hall ten and two star all three of their uh, town hall elevens so uh, that was really the difference there with the, uh, the extra stars and the, the town hall elevens really so good war nice come back from the uh, little defeat we had which ended our uh, war streak that was up to 12 at, at one stage so uh, nice comeback so we're gonna get into some of the replays and we're gonna have a look at Lee's Raid and number 12 doing a, a go haul <coughs> As we know, the poison um, makes the clan castle basically move out of it unless you attack it on the fly. So that's what we're having to do now. Arch queen down, clan castle down. It's just poisoning the uh, the barb king now. Just slow him down. Just picking off a few bombs if we can. Okay, the hogs are coming in. There you go, and it's just clean up. Archer Queen still at full strength. Good stuff. Okay, gonna have a look at JH's red and number 10. He's coming in with his uh, Gola Loon. So I'll jump over this area and then we can get access to both of these uh, early fences. I'm not convinced of the new sort of design for the early fence, it looks a bit sort of cartoony. Well, didn't quite manage to get in there with the breakers, but uh, Golems managed to punch its way in. So I've got the lure in the clan castle, I'm going to poison that. Bob King takes the Archer Queen and probably the defending Bob King as well. Maybe just. There we go. So these golems, I think, are just about going to get that uh, air defence. Maybe, maybe they won't. So the hound sent in from sort of the bottom there to draw out all the, the traps, which they've done.
So, although the, the air defence is still alive and kicking, there's, there's that many balloons over here now, they're not, uh, it's not going to manage. So, we'll just speed this up a little bit. And the rest is just clean up. There we go, good stuff. I'm going to look at Jackson's raid and then number 9. Jackson did two three star raids on their uh, Channel 9s. So, usual go haul. So we've got access to the, the Archer Queen, and we're going to get access to the Clan Castle that's going to come out. So I think the Bob King can just trigger the uh, giant bombs in this area. Oh no, the uh, little Bob triggered them. Okay, so the hogs are in. It's going to be careful over here. Underneath that wizard. So if you see Jackson serving a few hogs, he's uh, he's realised that you know you don't need that many hogs to take down the majority of the base, and if you are going to lose some to a, a giant bomb, it's nice to have a few more to uh, to run around and do a bit of clear up. And then they come now. So there wasn't that many hogs left over from the initial sort of pack, so perhaps a good shout to to leave those extra five. It's just going to because obviously we're we're thirty seconds down on what we used to have, so uh, possibly run out of time. But uh, there we go. I'm going to look at uh, Eddie's raid towards the it was the last raid of the the war. Um, nowhere else to go really, so we went for a, they went for a three star and a, a town hall uh, at ten. So we're just going to go with a load of quakes on this one. Take out all the the middle section and and stick all these uh, level five valks straight through the middle. So um, we've been having a bit of a play with the valks the last few days, so. Seems to be pretty strong. I wonder how long it's going to be before Supercell nerf those back down. Probably just wait till everyone's gemmed them or upgraded them at great personal cost. And then they'll probably put them back down to being useless and never used again. So we're just clearing out the outer buildings. Coming in with the heroes now. And in come the Valks. So don't blink, because they're going to go through that middle pretty quick. That town hall's about to, about to burst, <laughs> and there it went. Still plenty of uh, falcks down this area. Going around with the Barb King. Just going to kindly open that wall for him. Thank you very much. <laughs> and we've got a nice clean clear path right to the other side of the base. So uh, those falcks are just going to make everything disappear. 
go. Good stuff. Okay, um, we're going to look at Punnett Red and there, number six. Quite a familiar sort of familiar base. Doing the three jump quake set and six column. Two golems in each. A few more whizzes just to come in behind the heroes. Once the sides are kind of clear, that you know those wizards can come in and uh, hopefully do a bit of damage towards this centre. Quite a heavily defended centre from this side. You're facing the Infernos, two uh, Teslas. But there we go. That town all's down, fifty percent. Okay, we're going to look at Ben's red and then number five. So, quick to open things up. Three jumps along this uh, three to six side, and again with the six columns. Get your last column, Ben. There we go. So that Bob King has been tagged now with the single Inferno, so he's going to need to get that down pretty quick, that Inferno. So that's gone down with... Uh, some health remaining, so Tynal's gonna blow up. <laughs> There's your uh, two stars. Plenty of troops left to get a bit more uh, damage out of this one. There we go, good stuff. Decent damage. Okay, then look at Clay's red and then number four. We're doing the three jump quake and six column again. Nice widespread of uh, wizards. So the Bar King's going to go in and take down the the Archer Queen, and then move over to the the other Bar King. Looks like. Yeah. Still plenty of troops in there. Okay, good stuff. Um, 
So the last, the last three were Tamil Elevens. Um, Ollie did the number one, uh, Eddie, and I did two and three. Um, but I think we're going to leave one and two because um, it'd be giving away a few secrets. That really. So I think <laughs> I think we'll leave uh, how we did those two uh, to the to the clan to know rather than giving away uh, all the secrets. So we'll look at the the red added in number number three. Uh, again, quite a, quite a common common base. Again, with this one, this is going to be Valk, so don't blink because it's going to be quick. So opening up to the uh, town hall section, couple of jumps, and uh, we know that there's witches in this in this castle here, so we're uh, going to do a rage a little bit earlier than normal, just to make sure we get through those pretty quick. Okay, so we got that in. We're going to go in with the the Valks, and they're going to take down those castle troops and the heroes like a knife through butter. There we go. Another rage over the town hall, and that's all going to just disappear. So that's gone. We're we're pretty much at uh, two stars, and uh, plenty of troops left for. Some extra percentage, so we'll just speed through that. So yeah, those those Valks are pretty powerful. So that's going to be the uh, weapon of choice, I think, until Supercell put the spanner in the works again. Okay, so that's going to wrap it up, guys. Just a short little video there. Like I say, we'll we'll leave the, the first two out of this. And uh, again, well done, and we shall catch you on the next one.